And this carries into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards Alaire. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Touchdown. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Ball carrier. Not the kind of game that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. From the 41, Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 59 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Now Abdullah, the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. First down, Vikings. First down, here's the run with Cook. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Anthony Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. 
On second down, Cook. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Down at the now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Cousins from the gun on third. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. They'll run on first down. It's Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. From the 35 on second down, Cousins. And his throw here is incomplete. Go put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Cousins on third and two. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. First down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Cousins on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. They'll run for it with Cook. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Vikings have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty... Oh, well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. They'll take over first and... That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field. And a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Cousins now to throw on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Now Cousins. 
Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second and goal. It's second down. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. He'll get it up the middle. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Short of the goal line. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. To throw, Cousins. And that is going to be incomplete. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. No surprise. They try to throw the ball on fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. A little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up. Get right? your hands up. Affect the play. And then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. On first down, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Second down at seven. Here's Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Mike Hughes came crashing in that time, got the sack. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. The Vikings take over first and ten at the Chiefs' 42-yard line. First down, here's Cousins. That is caught. It's Tajay Sharp. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. First down, Minnesota. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Complete. Jefferson to target. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Only needing two yards on second down. Cousins to throw it. That's complete to Sharp. Cousins. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into a huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, the catch was made, put down right on the spot. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. Again, it's Cousins. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Result of the play is a turnover on down. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You get and now this is intercepted. My oh, we goodness. Got plenty of fight, baby. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Dan we constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. But you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you have to dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. By the Vikings. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback. He expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. At the 34-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And the Vikings first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Oh, that was dangerous. Cousins Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Leads to second and 10. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Gonna let it fly for Rudolph. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. But now it'll be third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll throw again, Cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Dan Bailey for the Viking field goal. A 53-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. And going deep for Hill. Got a man. It's caught. Inside the 10. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And with the clock at all zeros, they get the touchdown to make this just a one-score game into the lockers. And you know what else it does besides boost their confidence? It doesn't change your game plan any. See, if they're down bigger going into the half, you may have to revise what you plan to do in the second. But now in this spot, within one score and striking distance, uh -uh, you go ahead and keep playing and do what you've worked on all week long. For Minnesota. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. 
They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Edward Zelaire. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Edward Zelaire, the no doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the... And that is caught by Watkins for a cheap touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 43 yards. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. And here's Edwards and Lair. They'll try and run it here. And he is going to lose yardage here. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. Returning it, Johnson. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. At their own 35-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, a closer. Yeah, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They run again on first down. Cook, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Chris Jones. Chris Jones on the stop. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On first down, Cook. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Cousins looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown. Delvin Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. 19. Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. Now Edwards-Alaire. Tackle 
made by Eric Kendricks. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Here's Edwards Alaire. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Switch out, switch out. Switch, switch. On second and seven, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly. And they were able to break it up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. On the move to his left. And fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Vikings pick up the football. It's funny to me because we actually keep a football in the booth with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You get it tucked As pretty we tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? Now, you saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was you down there? You would not have fumbled. You got that thing locked in tight. I also have really large biceps. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. First and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They start the drive with Cook. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. A huge play there, Cousins, to his tight end, Rudolph. 44 yards. First down. On first. 
First and ten, Cousins. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Touchdown. Tajay Sharp there to make the grab. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start to move initially inside if you're a receiver. Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Lair. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. And call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. At the 28-yard line, a gain of four. It's now second and six. To throw on second and six. Mahomes. Robinson's got it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Anthony Harris. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. The 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook, 48 yards. And the interception by the Vikings. D leads to a touchdown. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they need right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think he's got a man complete. 20, 10, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 78 yards, and the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. Harrison Butker on for the point after. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. 
So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Vikings able to recover. The, and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now left side on the swing pass. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a They'll come up now on second and a yard. And a yard at the 28-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. Well run, it's Edwards Alaire. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Jaleel, no gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mahomes firing complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going Sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and end up making the play. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Chiefs. Extra point safely through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Definitely of the essence now, just under a minute to play, and here we go. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an outside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. 31 yards there and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Cook. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, 
as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. to throw and it's intercepted at the goal line snags it for the pick but he will not be able to bring it back my goodness what a bizarre ending the kind of decision that could get a quarterback released before he gets back to the locker room but fortunately for him and his crew the ball game is over 42. Well, partner, still a head scratcher to me how this one ended down three. I just thought, you know, no matter the situation, you're in a spot where you can kick that field goal, go to overtime. Why not do it? And this is where I think the analytics guys are going to continue to get more and more traction in the league. You know, we've talked about different people now saying, I need a game management coach, someone in the booth to take the emotion out of it. Did they lose track of where they were on the clock? Right? Did they lose track of where they were on the field? Was it, was it makeable for their kicker? All those things come into play here, and it turns out they don't get it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.